Hello and welcome to the Flory Models Friday Roundup Show. Here we are with you on the 19th of August 2022. Another really busy week. As you can see below, we've been pushing on very nicely with the Lancaster. It's a great kit. I actually can't really find a fault with this kit yet. It's absolutely stunning. It's gone together really, really well. Obviously, as you can see, we've got the painting work done onto it now. Uh, we've got the deckling down onto it. And to be honest, it's gone down really, really well. So again, good work on this one. We're taking a little bit of a break from it now just so purely the clear coat can dry off for a good couple of days and everything and then obviously we can push in with the weathering and it's amazing because out of that giant box we're literally left with this and some bits uh because obviously we've built all the props are done now all the weaponry is done we've got all the turrets are all done and they're all just ready to be fitted so the great thing about this is we can just come along do these as individual parts which is the nice thing about this kit so we can just weather one wing weather the other so it's not like you're fighting with a giant model trying to do it so that's really really nice but again decals are cartoon Graph. they went down absolutely amazing but like i always say if you're putting them down over any type of black and even if it's a gloss black always gloss it first because the trouble that you have is that the carrier film or the silvering effect you get from it will be 10 times worse over a black finish because it just shows absolutely everything so if you can actually get down a couple of coats of gloss first let that totally dry off come in then then you'll be absolutely fine but hopefully you can see it's looking really very, very nice indeed. Happy with that it comes out. The green to me is a little bit light, I'll be honest with you, but I think by the time obviously we get a load of weathering onto this, it'll be absolutely fine going right the way through. And as you can see, all the way down in here, looking very nice. We've got the undersides done as well. So they're all sorted out. We've got the tail planes all done and the various things just in there. So it's come together really, really quickly. And again, like a lot of people have said, it looks to be a fun build. And I can honestly say it really is. Any of the actual kits that I've been working on with HK have been a dream fit. They've gone together very, very well. So looking forward to this one next week. Obviously, we'll get the washes onto it. Then we'll seal them down. Then we're going to come in, obviously, with some oils. We'll weather it right down. And then obviously, it'll be time for final assembly, all the little nodgy bits and bits and pieces that will fall off. We'll get those all installed on it. So I'm really thinking by the end of next week, it'll be done which would be a really nice one to finish off the month really on a little bit of a high with that one. The other one we've been working on as well is the Sky Raider. To be honest, I've only got a couple of hours into this one, so there's nothing really to show at the moment. But again, this is part of our sort of, you know, go big or go home sort of theory for this year so again really really nice kit i've had this one in my stash now since it was released it's one of those strange ones which i've never sold and then have to rebuy again it's literally been covered into dust i had to give it a good dusting to get it off i have got a couple of little bits for it so i've got quinta studios mask set things like that uh, and with the cockpit set as well for that one as well so really i think it's all it needs i'm going to be doing it as the air force one with the shark's mouth and decals that come with it so we're going to be doing it as a sandy and yeah, absolutely fantastic. So it looks to be a great kit, even though it's one of Trumpy's older ones. Actually, it's something very, very nice about it. And before everyone panics, no, I'm not going to be doing it wings folded and all the rest of it. We're going to be armed up to the teeth and have it all weathered and battered back and everything else. So that's going to be a really, really nice one to sort of, you know, finish off the summer builds, if you like, with that particular one. So that one's well underway. So again, hopefully that should be quite a, you know, quite a straightforward build. And then we can get on with the painting and weathering on that within a couple of weeks as we make our way through. Anyway, as you can see, on Monday, we were into the Lancaster. So this week has been all about doing camo and obviously speak about it a little bit later on the Tuesday show as well. So we were basically just working our way down in here through the primer stage. So we go in with primers and then we have a good look at it to make sure that we're happy with all the seams and joins and everything else. And to be honest, I wasn't too happy with my uh, re-riveting and scribing that I'd done along the centre. You might remember we had quite a centre seam running right the way down here that we did the old CA uh, glue and talcum powder a trick with but it wasn't as sharp as i'd wanted it to be i'd done it a little bit soft so we basically came in and we re-riveted it all and we redid all the panel lines just to sharpen and crystal them up and to get them to look like the original ones on the kit so as you can see with all of that done very happy how that turned out and then it was just a case of popping in a few little panel lines around the leading edges we had to put in the redo the panel lines around the top of the engines so obviously where it joins the main body of the nacelle it's a it's quite a nasty join and getting them all to fit isn't perfect so i elected just to put some filler in there and rescribe it. it was a bit easier 
then it was over into paint. So we were using real colors with obviously rapid dry thinners, which is as far as I'm concerned, a match made in heaven. It works beautifully well and dries very, very quickly and nice and smooth as well. And then it was a case of getting down the, uh, the earth color first. And then we just sprayed that absolutely everywhere, all over the wings, all over the fuselage. And then we could come in and mask it as you'll see a little bit later on. So that was really on Monday talking about preparation, taking a step back, having a look at it, taking care of anything you need to do, and then getting that first coat of paint down in there like that so members you can go off and see that one that's uh, part six uh, of your Lancaster build and that went up on Monday or you can watch the full thing in turn Tuesday uh, again it's my blog show so answering your questions various bits and pieces and we were talking about obviously camo work and the different ways of doing it so we were discussing down in here about you know you could buy ready done masks so top notch uh, great company they pretty much do everything uh, in various scales as well which are the vinyl sticker type ones you can just pop them down uh, and then do those and then obviously you could go right the way up to using uh, paper masks and using you know basically your instructions for the actual camo pattern transferring those and doing that uh, and going through the motions of all of those on there which I should show you in a second if I've queued this up properly let me just find it there we go so that's the vinyl mask that we were talking about down here on the Tuesday show and then we were talking about obviously going through onto the paper mask which are in here there we go doing the paper mask as we did it on the Vulcan Vulcan is a free to watch video if anybody wants to see that one about you know the motions we went through on here to get that camo pattern coming back up and it's all about sort of resizing rejigging copying them across and copying the panel lines right the way over until you've got the finished article at the end of it which we were very happy with and then we obviously we were talking about using uh, paper with a little bit of uh, tack underneath give a nice feathered edge and obviously this is the way that we did it on the 24th scale hurricane so again i know a lot of people worry about uh doing camo work and how you're going to go about it and all the rest but i always say you just play to your strengths if you're not happy about doing freehand and you know it just worries you about using the tack worm technique is obviously the way we do it in a second then maybe you know the paper technique is great because normally the instructions are pretty good and all you do is blow them up and like this was like 150 percent whatever from the kit instructions and then we just used them on the model and went the way through so again there's lots of different ways of actually doing it you don't have to do it freehand and in some ways I don't think there's any real reason to do it freehand because it's just as quick to do it with a paper mask set uh, and things like that but again depending on your scale 70 second no problem at all you can use a hard edge camo but I think as soon as you get into the sort of 48 bomber realm and obviously 30 second scale fighters and then up obviously into 20 uh, full scale you really need a sort of softer edge on that one uh, and that's where obviously tack worms uh, camo comes in and that's how we did it on this particular one going right the way through on the Lancaster so hopefully now we've got all the different ways you can go about you know using masks and things like that to do quite complex camo work as you might remember back in the day I've done leaf camo this way uh, and you know even digital and things like that as well so it's pretty good way of doing it at the end of the day and the great thing about tack is you can maneuver it around as well so you can just push it to wherever you want it to go all right so anyway that's what we were talking about on the actual uh, Tuesday show uh, as well so members you can go off and see that one if you want to go and see that one right now on wednesday we had the pm show uh, the usual sort of fun and games and all the bits and pieces answering all your questions talking about the latest kit releases and what's new and coming in obviously from the pm store and talking about obviously about all the sort of pre-orders and stuff like that this week has been absolutely mental over at the pm store matt and lisa have been absolutely flat out and i know andy's been really busy invoicing you and the various bits and pieces because we are back into normal season as i call it now we've actually got proper kit releases so obviously we have the buccaneers come and go uh we've had the f-35s come and go we've got the ambulance have come and gone uh, all this week so there's plenty of little bits of gossip and various things that are going on down in there plus the fact all the specials and what's new and going on as well that is a free to watch video anyone can see that one and also it's over the social media channels as well uh, last night uh, we were obviously for our live show uh, answering all your questions usual bits and pieces we were looking at all different things and uh, to be honest uh, Ryan sent me a fantastic tale that he sells uh, on the internet as well as well as some other goodies he does prints and various things so that's what we were talking about in there and going through it and generally we're just talking and answering your questions having a little bit of a giggle all the rest of it it's uh, an hour and a half and obviously members you get to come and join in with us via the chat room as well and we can talk and answer your questions directly in there or you can post up any questions beforehand to give us a little bit of a uh, heads up on what we need to talk about so anyway that one's in there members you can go off and see that now and obviously we were discussing what we're all working on and 
we're doing this week. So we've got uh, John's trouble with uh, various kits he's got at the moment. We've got Nathan talking about his stuff and finishing off what he was doing. And Matt, obviously his projects he's working on. Uh, and obviously he's working on a bike as well, a very old classic bike. So uh, very nice job as well. Can't even remember what it's called now. There it is, that one. So again, he's doing it as a civilian version on there and the things. And then Andy was very busy as well because he's working on his. Uh, and we were discussing, obviously, the group built on stakes and obviously they're ending soon for the Nordic one. So you've got around about two weeks to get yourself finished on that one as well. So if you want to carry on with all of those, that's fantastic. Uh, and then obviously back to today, uh, we've got the um, uh, HK part. Sorry, it says seven. Is it seven or is it eight? I can't remember. Now. Yeah, it must be seven down in here and this is obviously talking about that camo work and the various things so it's a little bit of a the full depth video of it we were talking about painting and scrape cleaning for obviously the turrets and sharpening them all up and then obviously getting the green work on as we spoke about using the tack worm camo technique and going through really happy how it turned out to be honest just like that and then obviously getting the black work in so remasking up absolutely everything going along getting all the black stuff into this one and again wasn't straightforward because as always i run out of paint so we had to make a little bit of a uh, mix up to go through but i'm really Really happy with the color i think it turned out very well as you can see so spraying that down in there getting that all set in there and with the colors and everything so uh, yeah came together very very well in there so that was all good so obviously members you can go off and see part seven now that is directly up there reviews this week we had a bit of a, a gem we've got the b17 uh, so the B17 review is up for you now. So this is the visible one. Uh, and what's great about this kit is that it's got the proper, you know, visible sides. It's not just a copy. So it's got all the interior detail that you can imagine into this one thrown at it. Lots of really nice goodies all the way through. As you can see, really nice stuff down in there. And then obviously the decals, to be honest, considering their age, I would think they'd probably be workable. And there we go. So that's the standard sort of kit. You can see just down in there. And then obviously the details, a little bit flashy, typical sort of monogram of the day. Uh, and it's got a few little marks from being in the box for the last 30 odd years, but hey. And again, you can see the interior details down in here, how it's molded all onto the inside, but the clear one hasn't. So this isn't just a, a clear version of that particular part of the sprue. This is a completely separate part. So you can see the windows are molded in. So, because they're clear, you would just mask them up if you wanted to, and away you go, as we were discussing last night. But also, the thing is, there's no internal detail. So when you look through the side of it, it is crystal clear. It's a very high quality uh, clear as well. It's not like fuzzy, just normal ones. It's obviously a highly polished mold to be able to do this. Also, there's no ejector pins on this at all. There's only two, there's one there and there, that's it. Uh, there's no other ejector pins in this particular part either. So what we're basically saying, this is completely different tooling to the one that's in the kit for the standard styring. Um, so again, a companies can learn from this because many times we get clear parts and all it is is an injection molded version of this normal styrene one in clear plastic. This is not. So uh, and the clear parts are gorgeous right the way through. And again, we know it's an old kit and it's been sort of superseded now by the uh, HK one, which I did a couple of years ago. But again, it's beautiful. Very nice. If you're into sort of your classic kits and textures and things like that, it's all down in there as well. So some really nice details down there. You do get the crew and the figures and all the bits and pieces as well. Wood textures molded in. Obviously the tire textures, bits and pieces. Actually, it's a fantastic kit. So if you need a little bit of a nostalgic trip back, this is one of our classic reviews uh, for the Visible B17. And again, you can see that one. That's up there, obviously free to watch as well. So as always, just click on reviews, go into there. And obviously all the latest reviews are up here or obviously all the ones by company or manufacturer, I should say, they are down in here as well. So you can crack on with those. So that was all very good. Uh, into the forum, just to let you all know that uh, we're getting very close to the end now of the actual uh, group builds. For the Nordic one, literally you've got just two weeks to finish off in this one. We've got 85 entries in there at the moment, we've got 37 finished. So literally two week warning guys, that's push on with that one, go right the way through with it. The Greebly one or the scratch building SIG, uh, as you can see that, uh, sorry, group build, that's going on till the end of the year. So you've got loads of time to get that done before the end of the year. I'm gonna be joining in after we've actually done the Sky Raider uh, with my monster. So we'll be popping and doing those ones. So again, some great stuff down in here. And again, we've got uh, 65, entries 10 are finished all right so lots of stuff going on down in there if you want to grab uh, get involved with those particular ones or anything else 
So as you can see, a very, very busy week. Next week, I'm really looking forward to pushing on with all of these uh, and getting on with them. One thing to talk about, we don't actually have any specials at the moment up on the PM store or new ones. Um, and there's a reason for this is that obviously we're going to be doing a Saturday special next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend, which I do believe is the 27th. We are all day with you. So it'll be from like 10 in the morning, right the way up until sort of five o'clock in the afternoon. Obviously, we'll have a little bit of a break for lunch. So these are just the standard ones because obviously we're going to have some very very special special stuff up there next week all right so if you do want to join in with us you don't have to be a member we all will be live over youtube and the usual all the different social media platforms as well so if you want to get involved you can see any of those so we've got lots of stuff obviously going to be updating these so these rods really haven't changed uh, obviously the buccaneers are in and the lightnings i was really hoping to have them this morning uh, but i've got all three of these and obviously we've got the ambulance as well the little katie ambulance is coming down as well uh, so i'll be doing all these three reviews next week so we're really looking forward to getting our hands on the buccaneer and having a look at that uh, and then obviously we've got something a little bit more modern uh, we've got the f35b uh, so again, that'll be really nice to see how that one actually is in the flesh. And then obviously we've got the gorgeous uh, Gecko uh, KT Ambulance as well. So this is the uh, limited edition one as well with the full interior, all the bits and pieces. So yeah, if you want to uh, see any of those reviews, a little bit of a tease, I know, but I will be getting those all done for next week. So if you want to uh, come along and see us, they'll be up over social media or up on the site uh, as the week progresses next week as we make our way through. And that is about it. As again, next week, full on stuff. So we're going to be really pushing on with the Sky Raider, getting a lot of that done. And then obviously we're going to be getting this one all weathered up, hopefully going right the way through. And then obviously next uh, Saturday we'll be with you as well for the actual uh, full day build. So again, in the morning, if you want to join us and I'll be carrying on with my water bomber, that's CL124. We'll be doing that particular one. I know the guys will be in as well, doing their various bits as we make our way through. And that is about it. All it is left to me to leave you with your great work from the gallery. So until Monday, Bibby, happy modelling. Take care.